Lesson 5. Compound sentences and compound verbs. A simple sentence with a compound verb looks and sounds very much like a compound sentence. It is important to know how compound verbs differ from compound sentences for two reasons. First, they must be punctuated differently. Sometimes you can improve your writing by changing a compound sentence to a simple sentence with a compound verb. A simple sentence, you remember, has only one subject and one predicate. The subject and any part of the predicate can or may be compound. Here's an example. The students rose to their feet and applauded. In the sentence above, there is one subject, students. There are two verbs, rose and applauded. Both the verbs have the same subject, students rose and students applauded. Now, let's add a second subject and see what happens. So, subject, verb, subject, verb. You can see that the simple sentence has become a compound sentence. This has happened because of the addition of the second subject, they. Now, let's put two sentences together to see the difference in words. Compound sentence. The students rose to their feet and they applauded. Compound verbs. The students rose to their feet and applauded. By dropping the second subject out of the compound sentence, we make a simple sentence that has a subject-verb combination made up of one subject and two verbs. You can do this whenever both subjects of the compound verb refer to the same person or thing. For example, Sam and Andrea arrived and they distributed uniforms and equipment. Sam and Andrea arrived and distributed the uniforms and equipment. The shirt was dry, but it still looked dirty. The shirt was dry, but still looked dirty. Do not place a comma between the parts of a compound verb. Study the punctuation of the sentences above. Now you're ready to do the exercise on page four of this assignment.